Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created telecommunication dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this overview page for the telecommunication dashboard. Here we are showing the total ticket received as a complaint or request. And this is average response time in hours for a particular ticket. And this is average resolution time for a particular ticket. And this is average customer rating out of 5. We have 2.9 of the average. And this is the total tickets by the different priorities. This is total ticket by the issue type. And here we have the total tickets by month. We are showing here total tickets by service type also. We have taken service type like landline, TV, mobile and broadband. We, have, we are showing here ticket by the region also from which regions we are getting the complaints or the request. And then we have given here few slicers like uh, plan type. We have the various plan here like uh, unlimited plan. If you click then you can see all data is filtered and you can see the filtered information or for the postpaid only you can just click and you can see how many complaints we are receiving regarding the postpaid and you can see month on month trend also. Apart from that, you can see by the service type also, let's say I want to see for the TV only or the landline or the mobile, you can see that. And we have here the channel also, uh, how you are getting the complaint, let's say by call center or by email or by app. So you can see that also and you can see by region also. So you can use this slicer to see the quick glimpse of your business. Apart from the overview page, we have given some other page also to see the further analysis of the regulations. You can just click here and here we are showing the regulation performance like average response time by the priority. So we can see the high priority we are resolving uh, fast in compare of the others and average response time by the issue type. So we have the various issue type here. You can select this service also so that will be helpful let's say i'm taking here landline so you can easily uh, see the various issue type here or you can select the other also to see that issue type and here we are taking the average response time by the channel so you can see uh, for the call center we have a very less response time in compare of the other channel average response time by the status also okay you can see that now further you can see the customer level analysis also so here we have the customer satisfaction score and we are showing here average rating by the region so uh, from various regions how much ratings we are getting here this is average rating by the priority also and uh, this is the average customer rating by channel also okay so we have the highest rating for the email and lowest for call center Average customer rating by assigned technician also. So we have the various technicians and uh, it is giving the rating out of 5. We can see how they are rating to the various technicians. Now let's go to the technician performance also and the channel insights. So here we are showing the total ticket assigned to the technicians. Okay, so we have the name of the technicians and the total ticket assigned. Average response time by the technicians in the hours and the average resolution time for the technicians. And you can see uh, for the email only or you can see for the call center, you can change this as per your requirement. This is some dummy data we have used, but you can change this with your original data. Now I will show you the various plan and the service trend here. And we are showing uh, the Total ticket by the plan type, we have the various plans. So the total ticket we received for the postpaid, we re received the highest. And here we have the average resolution time in hours by the different plan time, plan type. Okay, so we have the various plans here. You can select here any service type also so that you can see the relevant plan. So that will be easy to understand. And uh, same here, average response time by the plan. So this is what we have created to get the quick insights of the telecommunication business and this is a ready to use dashboard. Now I will show you how we have created and uh, how you can update the data and the other parts. First thing you need to enable the data sheets. So you just need to go to the file options and go to the advanced. 
scroll it down and here we have one option that is so c tab under display options for this workbook just check this so c tab so it will show all the c tabs to you including data c now coming to the data sheet we have this table this is the table design if i go to the table you can see the name of the table is data here we have the ticket id customer name service type plant type issue type region channel priority status assigned technician name created date and then we have here response time in hours resolution time in hours and the customer rating out of uh, five and here we have created the month column on the basis of that created date. You can create the year column also if it is required. Now you can use this data and you can just append your data here or you can remove this data and just append your data. You just need to go to the data tab and then refresh all. That's it. Once you add the new data, it will be considered automatically because it's a table. You don't need to do any other changes. Just put your data here in this format and just go to the data tab and just say refresh all. Every seat tab will be refreshed automatically. Now coming to the support seat, I will show you what is in the support seat. So to create the all of the seat, we have created the various pivot table on the support seat. Like first of all, we are showing the total tickets. So let me go to the so field list and here you can see total ticket i'm taking the ticket id and here we are taking the count of the ticket id and we have renamed it as total ticket similar to this we have created the average response time and here we have taken the average resolution time here we have creating the average rating to show on the card so we have created this for the cards the top cards you can see and then average customer rating we are showing here so this is average customer rating we have taken we have created one calculated field that is max rating so if i go to the pivot table analyze and here field item list calculated field and you can see we have added max rating okay that is five if you want to learn more about the pivot table and the dashboards we have created a course and the link is given in the description box here we in here in this course we have explained each and everything related to the pivot table charts and the dashboards we have given a lot of advanced chart like the battery chart speedometer and the other charts using the pivot table and how you can connect with them the slicers so everything we have explained inside that course as well as you will get the free of cost practice file to download and uh, in, inside that course after you purchase that course and uh, then you can uh, do the practice with me in in that course okay so if you want to uh, take that course you can get the link of uh, that course in the video description box all right now here i will show you something like how we can create that uh, average customer rating chart this is called the star rating chart we have explained this in the in our course also but i will quickly give you the idea how we have created so first we have created a calculated field from the pivot table analyze and uh, here we have taken the field item sets calculated field and you can put the name of the field and then just put here formula and add so what we have done we have put the name of the field as max rating in the formula we just have put five and we have clicked on add because we have already added so it is appearing here and this will appear here also once you create that that will appear in the so field list this one and then we have moved this here and then we have taken the customer rating here and then we have taken the average of that customer rating okay so our maximum rating will be 5 and the average customer rating will be 2.9 to create that uh, star rating chart you just need to select this pivot table go to the insert and just insert the 2d bar chart that is cluster bar chart this one now go to the uh, pivot chart analyze field buttons and just say hide all we can remove this just delete this from here and remove the grid lines from here remove the axis also we don't need this make this slightly smaller now just go to the insert and we will create a shape and just scroll it down and we will take this shape star five points just click here and just click here Go to the save fill and let's take this color here 
and take the shape outline as the new outline just make the duplicate of this or make a copy and paste for the second one we will fill this gray color okay. now copy the first uh, shape yellow shape or golden shape and just uh, select the this 2.9 okay this is 5 max and this is 2.9 customer rating and just paste that here now copy this one and just paste on the bigger one okay now select the first one right click go to the format data series fill and line fill and here picture and texture fill is already selected scroll it down select stack and scale with okay so here automatically it is taking the uh, one unit per picture let's select this one copy we have already copied this so just select this and go to the fill and line again and here again select stack and scale with make sure here it should be one automatically it is one there all right now select this right click go to the format data series and series uh, gap bit just take here zero and series overlap also take there 100 percent and make it smaller like this here also so this chart is ready now we can just click here and add the data label so it is showing the data labels you can make this black and bold all right if you use the slicer here let me show you insert a slicer and let's take a slicer uh, for the plant type for example and let's select a plant plant then you can see that is getting change okay but there is a very small change so we can't see that and if i change here let's say for the post paid plan and if i make the changes in the data i will quickly show you so let's select here plan type as post paid okay the customer rating for example i'm taking here all the three four five i'm making that two so that it will be smaller okay now as i mentioned whenever you make any change in the data you just need to go to the data and just say refresh all as you click on the refresh all then you can see it is showing 1.8 and the star rating is also getting changed the star shapes okay when i select the post paid it is 1.8 and it is 2.9 so that is how we have created this chart and uh, we have created some other charts also using these shapes like flag shape or this shape so this is the normal shapes which we have put inside the chart i will quickly show you so let's say i'm taking this uh, pivot table and just insert a chart here so for example we have taken this chart go to the pivot field and just hide all and here just remove the legion and the grid lines and we can remove this axis also just right click go to the format data series and take the gap width around 0 or 20% uh, or 10% only okay so once you created this then you can insert a shape again just go to the shapes insert and save and uh, we have taken some different shape that is this one okay star and banners bib this one and just click here and just make this bigger and uh, you can choose the color whatever color you want to take for example i want to take this blue color shape outline no outline and then save fill go again save fill and select the gradient and let's say this one you can decide which color you want to take once shape is ready just copy and select this blue bars and paste them there this is done okay and if you want to make it gap width zero then you can make it zero also all right now you can add the data labels so that is how we can add the different shapes uh, you can join our course to learn more about the advanced level charts and the infographics we have given the link in the video description box and we have explained how you can create this type of uh, charts we have explained a lot of charts there all right friends so friends that is how we have created this and to create these shapes we have just protected this let me go to the uh, review and unprotect the sheet it will not ask any password because we just have protected without password so what we have done this is a separate text box and the rectangle you can see this is a separate rectangle and this is a separate rectangle and here we have created the card and you can see this is all uh, separate parts so we have used the excel shapes and then we have placed the charts there so this is def uh, separate chart and this is separate shapes all right so that is how we have created this 
Friends, uh, to learn more about this type of dashboard, you can join our course. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.